Now, some of these plugins are the big fancy look at me type effect that will open up a world of possibilities in your work. Most are tools that do one really specific task really well. And I guarantee that you'll find at least something in this video that will improve your workflow in After Effects or your money back. All of these are free. Some have a name your price option, so you can pay what you want. Zero, but if you find them useful and you have the means, send some dosh their way. They're almost all independent developers and a lot of these tools are better than some of the most popular paid plugins. You'll find links to everything in the description and these are in no particular order until we get to the top four. That's when the knives come out. AEJuice GIF lets you in one click render out a GIF of your comp and it's got a fair few useful settings there as well. Next is butt capper, and this lets you quickly adjust the caps of your stroke. If we want rounded caps, we can click the rounded caps icon, and if we want rounded corners, we hold alter option and click that icon again, and do the same for mitered or bevel caps as well. Displacer Pro, this is essentially an upgraded version of the displacement map effect that lets you not just displace with the X and Y position, but with rotation and scale as well. And you can also add chromatic aberration as well. This is really cool for a data moshing style glitch effect. Decompose text allows you to split up text layers by word or character into separate layers in one click so you can animate them each individually. Create 3D shapes generates common 3D objects in one click. Pyramids, cubes, cylinders, they're all here, no mucking about. Reposition anchor point. This does exactly what it says on the tin. You can quickly and easily reposition the anchor points of your layers. It works on multiple layers too. RD composition setter. This allows you to change the composition settings of multiple comps at once. It's really helpful if you need to adjust the frame rate of your whole project or just resize some comps. Advanced selection allows you to select multiple layers based on any parameter that you can think of. The layer type, the blending mode, or even a string of characters in the layer name. This is super useful in complex projects with lots of layers. Bendy Nulls allows you to bend layers using the CC Bend effect, but it links the ends to nulls, so you can easily reposition your layer without the effect breaking. Shape Repeater Baker. This allows you to select any repeater you have on a shape layer, hit Bake Repeater, and will separate them all into separate shapes within that layer. Rigged Box, an effect preset that you can apply to a shape layer, and it creates this rectangle or rigged box, and you can adjust all of its properties up here in the effects control panel without having to toggle down and adjust all of these settings. It is great for UI animation. The next is Type Array. It applies custom interpolation to your characters or words using delays or markers. Now it's pretty hard to explain concisely, but if you work with type animators, do check this out. Next is Sorty. This allows you to quickly sort your layers in your layer stack based on a whole bunch of properties. If we want to sort the order of these squares in our timeline by opacity, we can select opacity, select ascending, hit the play button, and now they're all rearranged from most opaque to least opaque. Rift, now this lets you sequence and move your layers really easily across your timeline. There are a whole bunch of options. We can easily put them into a sequence, but also have them ease in on this curve. We can even randomize them as well. True Comp Duplicator. This lets you duplicate your entire hierarchy of comps and pre-comps without the need to duplicate and replace each one. Here we've got three comps nested within one another, but we can select our top comp, adjust any settings we need, and hit Duplicate Selected. And that will create duplicates of those that we can adjust without messing with the original comps. Hylian. Now this is a single button that duplicates the layer you have selected, but also links all of the animated properties to the original. So you can make any adjustment to the original layer and it will be duplicated on the duplicate. Now we're at the top four, and these are the best plugins that money can buy for free. Saber by Video Copilot. If you've seen a lightsaber in absolutely anything made in the last five years, chances are it was made with Saber. You can create energy beams, lasers, portals, neon lights with no trouble at all and with a ton of customization options. And for an honorable mention on this list, what Saber does for lightsabers, Orb does for planets. So if you want to make ominous planet shots, check out Orb from Video Copilot, which is also free. Next is Duik Basel 2 by Rainbox Lab. It is an incredible open source character rigging plugin. It can be intimidating at first because of just how deep it is, but it contains pretty much any tool you need to rig any sort of creature you can imagine. Duik is what I use to teach character animation in my master motion design course. And if you're new to rigging and just want to get started with something simple, I would recommend Limber. It is the most simple and intuitive rigging tool that I've used. It is paid, but worth every penny. And number two on my list is FX Console by Video Copilot. 
Now, absolutely everybody that has After Effects should have this installed. It's essentially a search bar for effects, but it is way more useful than that makes it out to be. So with a layer selected, we can trigger it with a shortcut Then the search bar pops up and we can search for an effect and simply hit enter to add it to that layer. You can save your favorite effects in the toolbar as well. So if I want to add a fill, I can just hit one on my keyboard. And it's also really useful for saving a screenshot of your composition. Or my favorite technique is to copy it to the clipboard and then just paste it directly into Photoshop. Now I use this all the time when I'm making my thumbnails, but also for any documents that I need to send to a client. And the number one free plugin that I would say ranks very highly amongst paid plugins as well is Ease Copy. Now this is a brilliant plugin that allows you to copy and paste easing values from your keyframes. Say you've just animated your favorite yellow square rotating. You spent ages in the graph editor getting the motion curve just right, and now you want to animate its position and scale as well. All you need to do is select your Ease keyframes, hit Copy, select your other keyframes, and hit paste ease and you are done that same graph that same motion curve and acceleration is applied to those keyframes as well now it might seem really basic and it kind of is but it is so useful especially if you want to add any overlapping action which you can do by simply offsetting these keyframes trust me it is 10 times more useful than however useful you think it is at the moment i use it so much i wouldn't be surprised if it showed up on my spotify wrapped now, if this is how useful the free plugins are, you can imagine how useful they get once you start exchanging money for them. Now, here's a completely unrelated video of my top 10 paid plugins. Do with that information what you will.